What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Boo coming at you all with a brand new Supreme Dropless video. Now, I don't know why you guys are even here, man. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I do love y'all for clicking on the video, but come on. Damn, is this a dead week from Supreme? I mean, I got nothing better to do with my life, so I'm gonna still cover this drop list. If y'all wanna join me along for the ride, I really do appreciate it, but there's not a lot of resale this week or anything, folks. It's kinda to be expected. We've had two pretty good weeks in a row. Honestly, the whole beginning of this season, I felt like it's been really solid. We were due for a dead week, so it's time for us to save some money. Maybe we can join together and laughing at whoever the fuck is buying this pressure washer, but um, let's get right in this drop list. Drop it like you guys do enjoy, and let's just begin. As always, to start off the video, I do I want to remind you guys if you want to join my private cook group browser get help with drops every single week every single sneaker release streetwear release collectibles all that great stuff um, come join the group hit the top comment where there is a link for a free seven-day trial let's get started folks god damn it supreme community i just saw they haven't updated the retails yet again my boy drops gg been posting these retails like a day before sub community updates them it's just annoying i have to go like back and forth let's start it off though you guys don't want to hear me bitch but let's start it off with this pressure washer which i just there is not a a single neuron in my brain that could justify why somebody would want to buy this like sure if you need a pressure washer that says supreme go for it I guess like I don't know man I don't even really know many people that own pressure washers in the first place I guess if you got a driveway and you don't live in an apartment like my sorry ass no you're not gonna get a light goal out of me like if this was maybe 78 bucks I'd go buy one for the fuck of it just for y'all but hell no bro $200 for this it's gonna be a break it's somehow gonna sell out that's the sad part about it I don't know why uh, it probably will hopefully it doesn't it will restore my faith in humanity if this sits so that's obviously a skip let's talk about this sharpie box logo new era this is a pretty interesting one this week um box logo new eras are not really an item that flip with supreme anymore especially after they became 54 bucks um they used to be 48 there's a little bit more money to be made there but they're just too rich oh my god these are 58 god they're taxing us for the sharpie man supreme ain't give a shit like can we just get that sharpie for free at least um so yeah 58 bucks that's way too expensive for a fitted that really doesn't have that much going on for it i do love the customization ability on the back it's very clever but i doubt many people even use it i wonder how good it looks when you actually do the customizing i know lil yachty wore one of these i was a little disappointed um in the little shoot he did he didn't even customize the back of it or anything i think that would have been cool definitely some uniqueness with this like i'm not gonna hate on it because it's a really original item honestly but um it's skippable in my opinion i don't even think it's worth getting like a size 8 or anything let me take a look at this sharpie real quick is it like a, at least a cool sharpie oh it's actually pretty neat i'd buy one of those off someone i don't know how to spend my money on anything but i'm gonna call those skips um let's talk about the actual good item of the week this pigment two-tone cam cap um now you guys know i love my two tones man i usually buy the two-tone cam caps from supreme i actually don't really like the cream one here it's like a nasty yellow cream like it's like ugh, like that hat looks like it's absorbed like so much sweat over the accumulation of like 10 years like I that color is actually ugly as fuck to me the black though ooh, that black colorway man that is really clean um, I would imagine one of these other colors does well maybe it's that navy I kind of like the navy a lot with the teal brim um, it's kind of Mariners colors I go hard to Mariners game the red blue is not bad the green orange is a little bright to me the black white though I definitely think is gonna be a cop this week I'm gonna be picking one up um, yeah that's right folks I'm still going for the release like I don't know why I just I, I want to entertain y'all man at least like you guys get to live through me let me waste the money y'all just fucking sit there and watch um so i think this is actually gonna be a good hold item at least in that black white um i mean it's maybe not worth going for by itself like that kind of really does hurt its profit these have to be 48 right he's god okay yeah they're 48 so i think this is actually a really solid pickup this week at least the black white i might end up getting two because I just, I waste my money. Like, I don't know, bro, I'm an idiot. Um, I, the red blue I really like and that navy uh, teal I like. So I don't know which to go. You guys gotta let me know what you think the second best color is on this cam cap. I think we all can agree the black is the best. Let's speak about another item you gotta be patient on. That's gonna be this new era beanie. Um, now I've seen a ton of hate for this design. I don't blame people at all. It's literally a fucking money logo. Like, bro, uh, come on. We could do better than this, but at the same time, I kind of like it, dude. Like, I hate to say it, but like, usually I'm the biggest hater on shit that's just so boring with Supreme, but this one's boring to me in a good way. I don't know why. I genuinely don't know why I actually find amusement in this design. It, for some reason, reminds me of some like 2000s graphic you would get. Um, also, that camo just got me, love is blind with that camo, bro. Like, I just, I love it, bro. I don't know what it is with that kind of sand camo they've been using this season. I really am a big fan though, so I think I'm gonna at least get that beanie. Maybe I'll get the black or like a red or something like that. The red just with beanies always seems to pop off. And 
even just hats in general. I don't know why, because it looks atrocious. This like light blue one's also a really nice color. I can't tell if that's like a, yeah, it looks like a light blue. It's like a slate almost. Um, the black's always a solid one. You got a nice supreme hit on the backside with these new eras. You get that every time. This one of the last beanies of the season. Um, I don't think the beanies have been doing that great recently, because you're going to have to give them some time to hold on to. Um, and it's the same story with this. You're going to have to give it several months till it really goes up. But at 40 bucks a piece, man, it's just hard for me to turn down these beanies. I think at least at minimum 60 bucks is an easy sale for one of these in a few months. Maybe that camo does something. I feel like I've seen people kind of liking the camo, um, if any of these colors at all. So I'm probably going to get like two of the beanies and like two cam caps. I'm kind of thinking that's going to be my cart for the week. Um, nothing too like adventurous, but definitely some solid holds. Uh, let's also talk about the hoodie. The hoodie I don't really like as much. Like 40 bucks for a beanie with a money sign. Like you look like a dumbass a little bit at checkout, but you can live with that. But like, what are these? 158? If these are over 158, this brand's a fucking joke. Okay, these are 158. Um, I mean, that's just asking for the moon. The camo does look really nice. Like, I just, I love this camo so much. Um, I wish they used more of it in this season. They definitely have used it on a couple items, though. Um, but it's gonna be a skip, in my opinion. Like, I don't think it's hard to grasp. A little dollar sign's not gonna do much on the market. Um, and the same goes for the sweatpants. The sweatpants are probably the worst of the three to me. Uh, the hoodie's, like, somewhat okay. I think the beanie's solid. The sweatpants are gonna be skips, though. Let's keep it moving. Contrast arc sweater. I'm I'm kind of shocked this is so upvoted because these are horrendous to me, dude. Um, I really don't like these, especially like that colorfully knit cream one. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just a huge hater. Those are going to be skips, though. Uh, Gradient hooded sweatshirt. I feel like this reminds me of some older Supreme logo. Since the moment I saw it in the lookbook, like, I don't know what it is about it. Um, it definitely isn't an older Supreme logo. I don't think it is. Brush bet. I think it's just a printed on logo as well, so nothing really special here. It's a nice one. I do kind of wish they switched up the colorways um, for each hoodie, like maybe a different gradient pattern. Um, the yellow on orange, just it doesn't match all of them that well in my opinion. The blue's kind of nice, the brown as well. It's going to be a skip though. Let's talk about this confetti cardigan, man. Now is anyone going to be cardi boys this week? Because that, that slate one's pretty cute, bro. I can't lie. I do like the slate a lot. Um, I ugh, The black one, when I zoom in, that glitter pattern pattern and not doing it for me and damn the slate ones kind of got it too um that's gonna be a skip for me boss i mean damn i wish i just kept these normal man they've been doing these kind of weird cardigans lately they had like a glitter cardigan a season or two ago it's just like can we just get some basic cardigans man like it's 178 i just i don't like the whole confetti look on it um these are pretty boring like honestly that have been a nice and just like shag cardigan without the confetti i think i might have even got one like brown or blue um but at 178 that's just a lot to pay for a pretty normal cardigan um, I would pass on these. Inset link track pants is probably one of the more exciting items of the week. Um, I am curious if these will end up doing well. Uh, there, there has been similar-ish um, track pants that have done well in the past, just like big branded track suits. Um, what's the retails on these? So the pants are 138. That's a pretty solid price. Um, what's the jacket at? The jacket is 178. Uh, fuck, dude. Why is the jacket so much more? Sometimes they used to be like 168, 158. They're really going up in their price with this bullshit. I don't know. The jacket's not bad. It has that big ass S on it. I just realized that's what the link is, kind of like the old graffiti S. That's pretty clever, actually. I don't know, man. I would skip on these personally. Let me these track items from Supreme can hold pretty well, but I think I would just rather invest that money into something a little more reliable, a different week. Like, there's not much here to chase for profit, so why even try to? Uh, maybe a bigger size of the track jacket. The black's really bad, honestly. The black looks terrible. It'd probably be that cream, if anything. Um, I think it's horrendous, though. I would not wear that. Next up, we got this Supreme leather shot jacket. Um, a bomber jacket with like a removable uh, fur hood. This has to be crazy expensive. Does it say it's faux fur? Yeah, faux fur trim. Honestly, this is a gorgeous jacket. At this point, it's actually unbearable. Every season, Supreme and Shot come out with just the coolest, coolest jackets, but they are always just so expensive. I can never justify them. And they usually don't really sell for much money. As nice as they are, um, they're just not the hype branding people usually want. Um, so these are gonna be skippable, but it's a super solid Supreme leather shot jacket. They kill it every season. Season. Like seriously, it's always one of my favorite jackets that I can never afford, but it's also gonna be summer soon. So hell no uh, Moving on we got some work pants. Um, I'm still a little upset uh, So we got those small box zip-up hoodies. We got like a nice rainbow kind of splatter one I wish 
we got a version of these pants with that splatter on them. There's really no cool work pant print this season at all. Um, I'm sure they're nice. I'm wearing Supreme pants right now. I mean, you know I'm always wearing my Supreme pants. So yeah, I do love their pants, but probably not worth the retail. Micro down jacket. I really don't like the way they made these, man. That stripe just throws me off. Like I don't think I've ever seen a micro down jacket that has a stripe like that. And I really hope I never see it again. The black one's definitely nice. Very clean. I feel like this is the type of shit I see people that have like office jobs and shit going to work with. So this is some like little workwear kind of shit. Um, I just, I've never really been into the whole micro down look myself. So that's a skip. Uh, next up, the layer hooded long sleeve top. I actually do dig these. Um, and it's definitely going to be that green colorway, man. I don't, I swear to God, this is like evoked a memory in my brain of Tyler, the creator wearing a similar outfit to this, where he had like a t-shirt over a hoodie and something in my brain is telling me it was a small striped t-shirt like this as well. It probably wasn't, but I don't know. This just reminded me of like Tyler, the creator back in like 2014, 2015, um, when he rocked Supreme a lot. I think this is actually a pretty cool one. I don't know about resale. It is only 98, which is a really good price, man. Um, it would be the black one, bro. Like honestly, I think that green one's by far the coolest. I, I just love like the purple green combination. It's always been one of my favorites. But I think it's gonna be a skip. It's a really cool item though. I'm not a hater at all. Uh, 98 bucks, not a bad retail for it either if you want it for the personal. That's gonna leave us with the final item. How is this the most downvoted, man? Like there's just way worse stuff this week than this. The overprint knowledge short sleeve top. Um, this just screams to me like old 90s, um, like college shirts or stuff like that, like sports tees that just had the huge letters, like big graphics. Um, now, I, I don't know if I'd actually buy this myself, but I can see it actually being pretty cool on body. Like, I don't know. I feel like if Capital came out with something like this, because sometimes they'll rip off the old school college looks of like shirts and hoodies and jackets. I feel like if Capital came out with this, people would be raving over it, but because Supreme made it, people are just like, this shit sucks, man. It's got a lot of down votes. Um, that white color is actually really nice, though. I, I, I'm not a hater of this myself. I think it's pretty solid, um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of it. On a hoodie, it might have looked cooler. I don't know. I just don't get why it's so downvoted. I don't think it's that bad, but that does it for the week, so I'm probably just going to get some cam caps. Um, maybe I'll get some beanies. Maybe I'll even pick up some bags if there's still some bags sitting around on the website. Been your boy Boone, though. I'm sorry this wasn't the craziest video, y'all. It's a little bit of a dead week, but um, this is actually going to help me out a little. Uh, I can make a smaller live cop because I really want to get my week one unboxing done, and then I have this other older unboxing done. I'm going to be going up to my dad's house. I got this hockey jersey on because I'm about to go to a Kraken game tonight, and I'm going to work on the video over at my dad's home.